Here's Irving. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. They've got Kyrie Irving. Anthony Davis is out there with Davis. And it's D in at the two-guard spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's D. Back to Irving. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's league, B.A., rather than a shooter, because, look, a lot of people can take shots. Uh, there aren't too many that make them efficiently. So uh, that part is, is going nowhere. I think it's about creating points and trying to get it to the, the most opportunistic way you can score. That's what the offense's job is to do. Jokic's doing a better job there of using his body inside and getting the angle that finds his way to the line. You think about some of the great young centers in this league, but when it comes to making everyone around him better, Jokic is the man. Hi, guys. Well, D in their last time out against the Pelicans got the job done. He contributed 35 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. They're going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's averaging about six points per game. If you could pick any center in the league to start a team with, Brent, is Jokic your guy? Man, between... Oh, oh man! Oh, my God! He goodness. had the runway, oh, and he let it rip. Nice! They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Murray, no good. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Here's D. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Anthony Davis <laughs> I just the love assist. the ball move. The Nuggets have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Pass to Jokic. On the wing, Porter. A shot to stop the run. And he gets that one. Porter Porter's got his second bucket on the night. All right. After four misses, they finally get one to go. That has to be a big relief for the offense after beginning this half on a bit of a cold streak. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. D gets the bucket. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Porter against Davis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. When we talk about the Nuggets in their front office, they've done a great job drafting players, Brent. Yeah, B.A., when you find Jokic in the second round, I'd, I'd say that's more than commendable. But you've got other guys on this roster, other non-lottery picks like Bones Highland, and give their scouts a lot of credit. Michael Porter Jr. continuing to be pressed off the floor with these injuries to get himself righted back and healthy and make contributions at a high level. For Denver, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Murray with it. Irving picks him up. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Here's D. And it's good. He hits another one. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Outside Porter. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Murray. And another miss by Denver. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Watson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting just 35% from the floor. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. 
And I like that for Murray. Not an extra dribble. Get the ball to the open teammate right away. Pass to Davis. Here's D. Jacks up a three. Watson with a rebound. The Nuggets have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Murray. Checked by Davis. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. Marshall, he's checked in for Davis. Marshall. Here's D, defended by Murray. Here's D, yet another bucket. Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. The Nuggets shooting a low 29% since halftime. Pass to Porter. Outside Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Davis with the block. Just one of the greatest when it comes to blocking shots. AD using that crazy wingspan to create that kind of havoc defensively. All right, Bella, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. Well, I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Brown, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Pass to Watson. And he can't get that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. D gets the bucket. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Out left to the wing. Here's Watson. Back to Murray. And he lays it up and in. Murray. Murray's got 13 now. Just one for five this quarter, but don't expect him to back away from adversity. Pass to D. Outside Irving. Five to shoot. Here's D. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Highland, he's checked in for Murray. Here's Highland. 13 points in the game. Pass to Watson. Brown with it. Here's Watson. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Irving. To the middle. Here's Christie. Great D that time from Porter. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Brian against Jokic. Five on the clock. Wing shot on the way. Oh, and Bryant with the block. And Bryant not holding back that time. Three-pointer, no good. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Pass to Highland. Up top, Brown. Rebounded by the Lakers. Down low. 
Outside for Irving. Here's Christie. Outside Irving. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. McDaniels from long range. And he recovers it. And the Lakers get it back. Irving, that's good. Irving's got his first two points. Just so few players have that kind of arsenal. When they get to the inside and have to finish, Kyrie Irving becomes elite. Pass to Watson. Shot to in the cold streak. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. His third personal foul. The fourth team foul. At the line for the Nuggets, Watson taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Warwick. And here's McDaniels. Let's the three fly. Offensive rebound. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. But luck it is good, and he'll go to the line. That's his first. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. The Nuggets the making a switch here. Kevin Gallys checked in. Warren shooting one. And for Denver, they're shooting 35% so far in this one. Pass to Highland. Outside, Brown. Just five on the clock. Takes a three. No luck on that one. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Lamb covering. Pass to Christie. Now here's Bryant. Defended by Brown. And that one's good. Bryant. Bryant's got five now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Inside. Kevin Gelly. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. This can make it so this much easier wrong. for your teammate wrong. when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Here's Bryant inside. Here's Christie. And the baseline jumper, no good. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Two minutes remain in the third. Two minutes. And the basket by Highland. Highland. 15 Assist points in the game. And I absolutely Highland. love the attack mentality, <laughs> even with the bigger defender on him. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. Pass to Warwick. Out of bounds out as of Los bounds. Angeles keeps possession. Bill Lakers ball. It's McDaniels on the wing, defended by Brown. Clock at six. Here's Christie. 
He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Lamb against Bryant. Pass to Kevin Gelly. Can't hit that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Here's Christie. And there's the slam. Come to finish it off. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Brown passes to Lamb. His first shot attempt, and they pick up two. A very high percentage look when the D is nowhere to be seen. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Warwick, averaging around five points a game. To the paint. Here's Highland. Second chance shot, and it's good on the lay-in. 17 points in the game. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and That's collect that rebound. And so it's the Los Angeles the Lakers. And they're up an insane amount going into the break. The it the hasn't game. taken them too many shots That's to get the their three. points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back after this word. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Denver, they've got Johnson, and it's Watson in at the small forward position. Here's Lamb. Oh, and Bryant with the block. And he's able to get it back. Lamb's got room. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Well, the Lakers shooting an efficient 64%. Excellent. Pass to Warwick. Here's Marshall. Here's D. He got it again. Sensational. 71 points and no end in sight. He's in the zone. The defense looks helpless. Here's Kevin Kelly. And Brent, you won the dunk contest in 96. After last year's edition, some calls to fix it. You got any ideas? BA, every year they're trying to fix the dunk contest. I like it. The league has tinkered with it before. They've tried different things, some successful, some not so much. But the fact is, is you just got to get great dunkers out there, and you got to put on a show. And when the league gets that, everybody's happy. The shot by Lamb, no good. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You got to play tough, physical defense. A monster finish with authority and he hangs on the rim for a little extra spice and just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth pass to Watson to end the run count that one defensively you can't afford to get stuck on the pick that's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player you hate to see him give up in that situation d can't get it to go 
For Denver, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. A nice Watson. shot by Watson. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just Watson. under two and a half Watson. minutes gone by. I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal, and he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. The Nuggets have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Kevin Gelly. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back, maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Pass to Warwick. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. Knocks down the long game. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's D. Beyond the arc. From the arc. Rebounded by Johnson. For Denver, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. Second. And he makes it first. At the line for the Nuggets. Braun. Hits both from the stripe. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Puts up the eight-footer. And yes, another basket. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. And the rise of the Internet has helped give players their own voice. But now with podcasts and other streams, Grant, they're also able to monetize their voice. Yeah, players understand the value of their voice and also how to monetize that. Speaking directly to their fans, to their customers, using these different Denver platforms. Ball. You know, I think broadcasting, I think you and I need to have a podcast, B.A. For sure. I don't, we can't afford to, though. <laughs> that might be true. Robinson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Pass to D. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. You live for nights like this when it's all working and the rim looks so huge. Lamb up top. The 11-footer. Good on the shot. Jeremy Lamb. Lamb's got six points in the quarter. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, number 23. At the, the line first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Nuggets have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Pass to Watson. Let's go with a three. The shot by Lamb, no good. The Lakers have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Inside, here's Marshall. Here's D to the middle. Shot clock at six. Back to Jones. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. 
but basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but not Lakers. being too oh. hands on and Number letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Personal. Looks like they'll cruise to the win. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most...